Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a little vlogging while I'm getting ready to prepare my teaching for the Unlock program, which you should all definitely check out. It's going to be restarting up in January, and it's all about unlocking who you are and who God has created you to be. Um, and so I'm getting ready to record one of the teachings, so I thought I'd vlog a little bit and let y'all see my little process. Um, I got my hair rebraided at the top, so it's a little cute. I did some little crinkling at the end, so it's cute. Um, and you'll get to see some some stuff from my photo shoots um, too. So uh, my spiritual son just graciously blessed me with a free photo shoot, which I needed. Um, I have some pictures that I'm gonna start combining for the website, the new website for LatashaRobinson.com is coming out. So I just got like so much pictures. I already had one photo shoot back in the winter and now I've got another one. So we're gonna use those pictures and start combining stuff to make my website great um and so right now i'm getting ready to just do some recording i was gonna put on something different but sometimes i like to be a little bit casual um we'll see if this outfit actually makes it so all right bye y'all hey guys so i thought i'd do a little vlogging while i'm getting ready to prepare my teaching for the unlock program which you should all definitely check out going to be restarting up in January and it's all about unlocking who you are and who God has created you to be. Um, and so I'm getting ready to record one of the teachings so I thought I'd vlog a little bit and let y'all see the little process. Um, I got my hair rebraided at the top so it's a little cute. I did some little crinkling at the end so it's cute. Um, and you'll get to see some you know, some stuff from my photo shoots um, too. So uh, my spiritual son just graciously blessed me with a free photo shoot, which I needed. Um, I have some pictures that I'm going to start combining for the website. The new website for LatashaRobinson.com is coming out. So I just got like so much pictures. I already had one photo shoot back in the winter and now I've got another one. So we're going to use those pictures and start combining stuff to make my website great um and so right now i'm getting ready to just do some recording i was gonna put on something different but sometimes i like to be a little bit casual um we'll see if this outfit actually makes it so all right bye y'all okay y'all so this is kind of what it looks like i go first of all i get in here and i have i use this program called asana oh lord let me connect to the internet I use this program called Asana and it keeps a track of basically all my daily tasks for Barn Global Network, for um, Barn France, if I have any of those. Um, also for LatashaRobinson.com and the Encourager community. And so, yeah, I just spend some time like looking at my agenda for the day and seeing if I have any appointments um, and all that. So then I kind of uh, try to do any admin work that I need to do if I don't have like a ton of appointments or a, an appointment I need to prep for. And that helps me a lot to like stay on track. Um, uh, yeah, Asana is kind of a lifesaver to be fair because I... I have like so many appointments and there's like little things to do sometimes to prep for your appointments. And so if I need to pray for somebody or if I need to like do, you know, make sure they got all their paperwork or whatever, I try to like put that in Asana. Um, if, you know, even stuff that the Lord has said to me that I need to remember. Um, and so, yeah, I'll go in and I'll, let me just show you what the, um, what my Asana looks like. It's actually gotten a lot better. Last week when I was trying to launch the Encourager community website, it was so many, I had so many tasks. This week, yesterday, I just took it. Um, I try to take a planning day every month and just plan out like, what are my projects? What do I know is coming up? And then plan it. Before I start working on it, I try to plan it, if that makes sense. So like, um, so for example, stuff like this, like I'm, I started a vlog. And as you can see, like 
I put the vlog stuff on there. I have a reminder every day to record some content, just a little bit of content every day. And then I'll create a story time with my vlog and do all that. Um, the writing the Bible study teachings that we do for the Encourager community, following up and checking in with the Barn Global, the Barn France team, seeing if we need help there, if there's things, how ways that I can support them and you know, all of those things reminders to you know basically take care of things and sometimes I have to put my own personal like girl sit down <laughs> sit down time take 10 minutes or whatever or just do nothing you know because I sometimes you can just get so overwhelmed with the busyness of things um, I remind myself to research things so that's kind of what I do on a day to day and so yeah Every day, you know, even though it might seem like I'm on a glorious vacation here in Paris, I am absolutely not. I'm working for like a nine to five, just like you are when I'm here. And actually, my hours are worse because, you know, being an apostle, which is very much like a pastor, sometimes you're calling people, you're praying for people, you're, you know, you're walk, rolling around trying to do what you can for people to to support them. And so it's a it's a lot more work than than you think it is and so yeah pray for me y'all it's kind of a hard week for me because I have to leave on Monday and I'm I love Europe so much I just God has given me such a heart for this place and I just want to see amazing things happen here so it's so hard to leave every time when you know you have more to do um yeah so God bless you guys, and I'll see you soon. Hey. hey guys, and welcome to month two of the Unlock program. This month, we are gonna specifically be focusing on the theme of healing. Um, and so we're gonna continue talking about our identity, but we're gonna specifically focus in on those areas of our identity that keep us from being all that God wants us to be. Um, and so identity, I feel like is the first and important key. A lot of times we don't need inner healing. We just need to understand who we are and who God made us to be. But there are often times where there's something going on on the inside of us that won't let us step into all that God has called us to be. And we have his grace, we have his empowering, um, his resurrection power living on the inside of us. But we must oftentimes overcome uh, what Joyce Meyer so uh, eloquently put is the battle of the mind, right? We have to know that we know that we know who we are and that we can walk in the authority and the, and the goodness of God um, and all that he has set forth for us. So here's what I want you to do. As you go through each day, I want you to just sit with the content. Don't rush through, but sit with it. Allow God to really speak to your heart about each and every one of these areas. Two, I want to make sure you have a journal. Make sure that you actually journal. Okay, y'all, I got to introduce you to basically the best things in my life. Okay, so I have here two kinds of croissants. The first kind of croissant is what you typically think of from a, of a croissant, right? It comes from a French bakery just actually around across the street from my house. It is yummy. However... I know they probably have these in the States, but I haven't really ever paid attention because you, if you hurt, when I actually describe what it is, you're gonna be like, well, why would I want that? But you do, trust me, you do. This is what's called an almond croissant. Look, I done already took a bite. That's how yummy it is. For whatever reason, mine is flat. It's, be, it's probably because it has too much like oil on it, but it is yummy. Okay, I'm gonna stand it up so y'all can see it. Sorry, I bit off the top, so, cause I was, I forgot about this. I was like, oh, this is so good. All my croissants are my favorite kind of croissants. I highly, highly recommend them, especially if you get them from a fresh French bakery, especially first thing in the morning when they smell like life, happiness in life. And so, if you come to France, you have to eat an almond croissant. And I don't know why I'm doing so many dang on videos about food in France. Maybe I'll just make it a thing, but 
I just had to put y'all on to the almond croissant. This thing is amazing. Really, really amazing. And then, so if you come to France, you definitely gotta do the almond croissant. Don't forget. You can call it, it's like croissant aux almond, I believe. French people, don't at me. I know I don't speak it that great. But get a get an almond croissant just the same. Mm. Yes, Lord. You love me. Mm -mm. Okay. Hey, everybody. So I am currently in Chatelet. Look what's behind me. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's pretty, right? And I'm with this lovely one. Hey! <laughs> um, Yelena is my assistant. We're just walking around Chatelet, just enjoying my last couple of few days here in Paris. Can you tell that I'm so excited to leave? <laughs> ah! <sighs> anyway, we're just kind of walking around, enjoying this beautiful city which is a feast for your eyes. Look at this right here, y'all. <laughs> Can you see the tree though? Oh, just. And then the tree. Yeah. And all that. So, so you know, we're just chilling. We're in Chatelet. So it's like a young people's hangout spot, although I ain't that young, child. At about 10 o'clock, I'm gonna be like, oh, old folk, the old folk gonna kick in and I'm going to sleep. But uh, we just wanted to kind of walk around and enjoy my last few days here. And, you know, I really think you guys should support me so that I can live here full time because this is a lot going back and forth. So I think so. And the Lord will bless you abundantly. Like shakara baba. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I will see you guys later and stay tuned for more. Bye.